are back on our second day in Brussels. Early morning wake up there. Those guys have been drilling since this morning, but it's cool. Anyway, today we're going to go and look for the George Jean Claude Van Damme statue. And while I was on my way here last night, I noticed that there was an actual mural with him on. So I'm going to see if I can find that, but if not, we're going to head that way anyway. Um, so today we're going to be with the boys all day long as well, which is going to be wicked. Um, but we're not going to find them for the next hour. We've got an hour on our own, so uh, I'm going to check out the streets on the way to into the city centre again. Um, obviously look for some food at some point as well, so let's head on in and see what happens. So we're back with a neighbouring tram station. Run. And then that's the entrance to it for there, I'm assuming. Right, time to look for a cafe now. I'm really intrigued on what this huge building used to look like. It reminds me of like the old uh, New York Mail Exchange. It's the first thing I think of. So they're in here somewhere. I'm assuming they're after a cheap breakfast. Let's go find out. Let's go for a wander, see what they are. HMV Where is the spud gang? We just arrived in Bazit, which is the closest station to the Van Damme statue. Strong legs. Strong Scottish legs. So we're just coming up to the Van Damme statue now, which is just down here to the right. It's been a nice walk though from the metro. It's the fucking lads. <laughs> <laughs> It's right there. Van the man. We have spotted Vandius Maximus. And same as the Van Damme. Something like that. So there's the Van Damme statue right there. 
And it's green for us to go right now. It's weird So we finally got here, the lads carrying their photo snacks to it, so I'll get mine soon. I think we're going to try and get a group photo if a passing person can offer. We need someone to take a phone for us, that's what we need. Another guy on the bike, oh, so you'll take your fucking phone. So we've had a bit of a shitty situation, yeah? Yeah, we've all stood in shit. Yeah. No, I've done it as well. Oh, you've been most of it, haven't you, Ben? I had I have stepped in a little bit. And I have. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh. <coughs> you lot not doing the wheel? Uh, no, do you want to do the wheel? Okay, mate. Merci. Good night. Oh. I am knackered. What a day. So I didn't bother filming this afternoon because we were just chilling out with the lads wandering around. But uh, back by the hotel now, so I'm going to look at some food. So Autumn's hitting Brussels hard. It's really pretty though. So I'm just walking back from the shop to the hotel now. I had to walk pretty much into the, like where the ghetto is from where I'm staying, but it's cool. It's nice and chill around here. So this is what usually happens when the businesses clear out. So this will be all gone by tomorrow. They're really good here with the, the waste. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to the hotel room and uh, I'll catch up with you guys there. So we're up nice and fresh this morning. It's currently eight o'clock. This is the square my hotel is on. My hotel's just on the left for there. There's a statue, which I've shown before. So uh, last night we called it, uh, well I called it quits after we saw the Van Damme statue because that's all I wanted to like achieve yesterday. I still want to like chill out as part of being in Brussels as well. Um, today we're going to explore the streets here, potentially head to Antwerp. I know the other guys, they're going to the National Museum. Uh, I could do that any time up until about 5 o'clock today if I want to do that. But I do fancy going to Antwerp for a few hours. Unless I move that to tomorrow, because I haven't actually sorted any transport home for myself yet. So I'm either going to stay for a few more days, travel somewhere else, 
I'll go home tomorrow, which I'm going to decide later on today. So yeah, I still need a coffee as well. So we're going to look down here for a coffee shop. And when I was in a taxi the other day, I noticed there's a big mural down here, which looked quite nice. So we're going to go and check that out. So yeah, welcome to part three of Brussels. Or part two rather, I think it's part three. So yeah, I'm looking a bit worse for wear today because my feet were so tired yesterday. Um, I was just exhausted when I got back to the hotel. So here's one mural. It's pretty hard to work out what's going on here. You know? There's a lot of different things going on in it. It's quite psychedelic. There's got a compass there and these guys are reading books. Maybe it's something to do with education. It's to do with religion. It's to do with Catholic school. Navigating through life with a compass. That's my interpretation of this. Some more back here. And then there's some more back here as well. Some great artwork. And this is a smaller version. Well, this is a printed version of the one that is down there. I can tell this has been put for a printer. Yeah, this looks wicked. Right, let's keep going. Let's check out the streets of Brussels. We're heading towards uh, northwest Brussels this way on Route 66. So, yeah. Right, I'll tab him back with you when I find something else. It's an abandoned building right here. There's someone living outside. Cream Deluxe. <clears throat> so this looks like a big street redevelopment going on here and these both these sides are period buildings so they're probably putting a lot of focus on you transport to the mosque so yeah just thought I'd stop to see this mural here which is another one I saw on the way down with the artist signature there done in 2012 So I was down this part of uh, Brussels in an earlier video. As you can see the two buildings in the far distance in the middle of the shot right there. So I walked right in between those two as I was heading into town. And then we've got the green grocers on the corner which I passed before. So we're on route. Um, we'll have to take a different route into town though. So I did do this street over here but we're going to go over one over there. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's keep on trucking. crossing on a red light but there's nothing coming so yeah we passed this building the other day I'm not sure where it is looks like an old museum building there's some old pictures in there maybe it's too early for them to be open So that's a little statue of a dog called Vinique, which is uh, one of the free pissing statues in Brussels. So we collected all the Pokemon cards on the pissing statues. I actually was aware of this dog, but I only um, I only clocked onto it when I checked Google Maps earlier just to see where I was, and then I realised oh, I was a, I saw the dog on there, and I I really I just remembered then that there is a pissing dog in Brussels. So where we are now is quite metropolitan, like it's quite uh, it's got quite a few independent businesses as well. So we'll keep walking around. So I didn't film it the other night, but me and the boys had a few uh, Guinnesses here in Bi Bison, which is uh, they sell Trappist beer. Anyway, I'm going to take a break down, just, just down by here and then we'll recoup and uh, see where else we can go and see today, which is quite alternative. I didn't bring any spare SD cards with me, but I just realised this DJI is becoming notorious for erasing data when it fills up too much. So 
so what I might have to do is start filming on the internal memory on this. Anyway, back at the main square here with the beer ex uh, exhibitions going on, this uh, grand building like, right by here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit down and see if I can back everything up off this um, camera and then we'll crack on. <clears throat> they just had one of these recently opened up in Liverpool. Wizardry shop. So let's go in and have a little look, see what's going on. That was a cool little shop. Most of the books are in uh, French though, but it was cool. There was loads of like tin tin books and stuff like that if you're into tin tin. So right, we're off to the grand place now, which is like the plants, the square, which has got loads of uh, buildings with like loads of like uh, gold colors on them and stuff. And we'll check out this big spire up by here too, which is part of the um, plants, I'm pretty sure it is. I was up there the other night when it was really dark with the lads, so it's going to be a different experience up here now. You probably, yeah, there was probably a few clips in the past video which I've used when I was up there in the night time, but yeah, it's going to be a different experience in the day. So let's go and check that out. <clears throat> They're not shy about using electricity in the day. And here's a big church too. It's not too big. It's right behind where they're doing the beer experience. And if you follow this cobblestone street up here, it's gonna take us to um, the grand place, which looks mad. Already looks crazy from here. Anyway, let's check out the souvenir shops before we go up. Decent prices in there actually. But uh, loads of these shops are competing because these guys are doing six for a tanner and the other one's doing four for a tanner. Or one for two euro, which is pretty good. I probably I only need three, so doing a deal with this like four magnets is not ideal for me. Chocolate. More chocolate. Anyway, we're just entering the grand place. We just had a little look in some of these tourist shops where uh, prices seem to be cheaper the closer I'm getting to the getting to the grand place. Anyway, check this out. I don't know if you can see much, there's so much sun glare, but we'll go to the far corner and get an angle from there. This is one dodgy tourist hotspot. <laughs> <clears throat> and I just done that alleyways where the uh, Delirium Cafe is. Super grand though. There's loads of school trips out, so excuse those. Yeah. Pride of a nation right here, which has probably been built mostly on uh, entrepreneurial acts. And people who have made good money in the past. Well, I don't know, you tell me in the comments if you're watching this. Yeah, these buildings are grand. Lots of gold. So I might as well flip the camera around on myself, otherwise no one's going to believe I'm here, right? I could be voicing over any fucking video. Yeah. So yeah, it's awesome. So last time I was here, we went for this little archway here, but there's a street here, and I'm going to follow it around the back, see what happens. 
Let us go. Thank you. There's another Belgian beer museum right by here. And there's loads of little restaurants. There's one here and there's one right by here. Every building has got on street uh, dining. Oh yeah, the Hard Rock Cafe is up around by here, isn't it? Yeah, right by here. I'm pretty sure Mike wants to go in there at some point because he's uh, he's a glass collector. My girlfriend's a t-shirt collector of the Hard Rock Persuasion. Anyway, let's check out these old streets up and around the back. So the Delirium Cafe has got a little one too, and you can buy a meter of beer in here. So that's something I could consider later on. Today is a Thursday, so it's going to get quite busy later on though. But uh, apart from the Delirium Cafe there, most of these are uh, kebab restaurants. If you like your kebabs. It's a bit too early for a drink though. Very pretty looking street right by here. There's a guy behind me trying to take photos. I'm probably in all of them now. But the magic of AI can remove me. It's like an indoor market here. Let's see what's in here. So I've hit the jackpot here because I've been looking at these these on uh, Timu. And uh, for just a little over twice the price, I don't have to wait for them to come from China. And they look quite cool. When I was in Marrakesh, I got Ray Brands for two pounds. So, I mean, this little indoor market is perfect for me. <clears throat> These are cool. <coughs> cool stuff here, man. So we just come out the other side of that market and I was pretty sure I can get some good uh, deals on sunglasses because usually when um, I bump into a bunch of Moroccan lads who are obviously bringing some stock home from their homelands you come back with a nice pair of shades. Last time I was in uh, Marrakesh, I got a fake Ray Brands for two pounds. So I literally just paid two pound 20 for these now and they're pretty good. I was looking at something similar on Timu anyway. So yeah, ended up getting what I wanted. I didn't have to wait for delivery. Obviously they're not gonna be amazing for my eyes. But yeah, that was a nice little walk around this morning. I walked down this street here, but I cut into this building here. Agora. So I think Scott's on the lookout for little, uh, little pissing statues. So um, I'll definitely recommend that he goes in there because um, they're selling them actually quite cheap in there. So, and everyone in there's open for haggling too. So I managed to haggle two pairs of sunglasses for. Um, just under four quid, I think, if we work it out properly. Anyway, let's keep exploring. So when I arrived here from Antwerp the other morning, I did actually walk straight past the cathedral, which I did feature in that video. 
But again, let's go and see what the cathedral looks like in the daytime. And then I think we're going to meet up with the lads in about an hour and a half's time. So yeah, let's head on over to Brussels Cathedral and then we'll chill out from there. So this is where we walked down past at five o'clock in, in the morning the other day. Yeah. So let's go and check out the cathedral. And there's a bunch of uh, Jehovah Witnesses poaching Christians outside their beloved place of worship. So yeah, we walked through this park at five o'clock in the morning the other day. How unreal is that? You gotta be careful of these bloody bike lanes. So once we get out of the cathedral, I'll give my camera a good charge in. Because I've been giving it a good bashing this morning. So here we are now just encroaching up on the cathedral and this guy's head is massive. So yeah, we literally came down on the on the right side here and walked straight through the park here. I went straight down into the town centre. Very nice that cathedral man. Anyway, this take five. Some nice solo benches here as well. Perfect for people who don't want conversations. <laughs> so I managed to have about 15 minutes on a bench, but let's go and check this out, man. Should be epic. So I don't know if I'm going to go straight home tomorrow because I've just been looking at options on my phone um, so I can go home via Amsterdam, I go home via Bruges, I go back to Antwerp. So I've got to sit down later and work it out. I'm probably not going to go home tomorrow because I just don't like being like, don't like being rushed, I like just like doing stuff on my own terms. Anyway, we're going to go into the cathedral and I think that's going to be it for this video because we've had a good walk around this, this morning. And then we'll find out where the other guys are. Just gonna check it out. <clears throat> yeah, it's wicked in here. Yeah. Really good. I think the Anglican in uh, Liverpool still takes the top spot in my opinion. But obviously the Anglican in Liverpool was only finished at finished in the eighties. Took a long time to build. So 
Let's see what's going on there. The orchestra, the organ. Body of Christ. So yeah, that's the street I came from. Yeah, right up there past the statue when I saw when I thought the statue looked like the Pope. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I've actually done really well. I've done a lot of walking this morning. But like I said previously, I don't know if I'm gonna go home tomorrow or not because um, my options are cheaper not to go back the way I came, so I could probably make it up as I go home along but two more days maximum I think I shouldn't stay too long because of like things happening back home personally but um yeah it's been a great experience walking around here seeing the pissing dog as well obviously collected all three pissing Pokemon cards while we've been here so um yeah I'm an odd one when it comes to European cities they kind of go a bit samey to me it was like the one year I did a cruise and we went to seven countries in one seven countries on the cruise and it just like you European cities tend to like mesh up and they look the same to me the high streets are the same you've got the same shops everywhere you've got your token hard rock cafe there so I'd rather like just go out to cities now but yeah it's been great while well, I've been here so like I said I might have the extra two-day extension so we could go to Amsterdam it's only eight quid on the flicks takes uh, two and a half hours to go on the flicks bus and that's that's nothing really probably fall asleep for an hour of that as well but yeah i'm going to finish the video for you if you enjoyed it obviously leave a like totally up to you peace and love and i'll see you in the next video